All right, AP Calculus AB, yet another related rates problem. This is uh, the latter problem, and this is from a project I assigned a little while ago, and it came out looking like this. And here's the problem itself. And the, the problem reads simply, the top of a 25-foot ladder leaning against a vertical wall is slipping down a wall at the rate of one foot per second. How fast is the bottom of the ladder slipping along the ground when the bottom of the ladder is seven feet away from the base of the wall. So this is what I'm going to draw. Just what do we know? So I'm going to draw, here's, here's a wall. And we're, let's assume that the wall is not the Leaning Tower of Pisa, I guess, and that it's, this is vertical, so let's assume this is true. And then we're saying that the, the ladder itself is 25 feet long. And we also know that this is seven feet, and we're told that this thing is sliding, was it sliding down, isn't it? It's sliding down the wall at right feet per second, so feet per second. And what we want to know is what is the rate of what's the rate at which it's going this way? So what's the rate at which it's going this way? It's sliding away from the wall. So this is how I kind of started looking at this. It's like, okay, start with I'm sure you can see the Pythagorean theorem here. I'm going to say, you know what? What is x squared plus y squared? is equal to 25, because that's the hypotenuse, isn't it? Seven. So far, so good. And I'm just going to leave this. And this is not where you have to start. This is where you can start. And there are about five different places you could start from. And this is where I'm going to start. I just like to get my uh, equations and my differentiating out of the way. So I like to draw, and then I like to try to find some rates here. So I'm going to just kind of differentiate this whole thing. I guess it's 25 squared, isn't it? Uh, I'm going to differentiate this whole thing with regard to time. And this would be 2x right, dx dt, wouldn't it, plus 2y dy dt, and of course the first derivative of a constant is zero. Okay, <clears throat> so this is what I'm hoping that you can see, whoa, 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 dx dt. Hopefully you can see that what we're looking for here is dx dt, we're trying to figure out how fast this thing is moving this way, how, how what's that horizontal movement of the base looking like as, as time goes by. So, got to here. From here, it, from here, it gets easy, except we just have to take a sidestep for a second. So, if you don't mind, I'm just going to sidestep this for just a second. And I'm going to look at this, and I'm just going to try to fill this in. So, if this is 7, and this is 25, then isn't it true, using the Pythagorean theorem, that 7 squared plus y squared equals 25 squared? I can do all this math if you want to, but I'm not going to waste your time. It turns out that y is 24. And you're going to see why this is important in just a second. So at the time, the rate that we're looking at, these are this is what this looks like. This 25 is constant, but these dimensions are changing, aren't they? So the reason I'm doing this is very simple. My interest, as I said before, is strictly in this, right? I'm really interested in this piece right here, right? That's what we're trying to figure out. So what we'd like to do is get rid of all the other crap. So to not x, but look, x is 7 right there. That's that 7 right there. That's our x, so x is 7 dx dt. Whoops, I did it twice now. dx dt plus 2. Well, when x is 7, we know that y is 24, isn't it? Is 24 dy dt equals 0. Again, all I care about, all I really, really care about is this thing right here. I'm trying to get this by itself. So now we have dx dt and we have dy dt. So the question is, where do we go from here? And I think probably it's becoming clear to you that they gave us this piece of information too, right? And it says that this ladder is slipping down this wall right here at a rate of that, right? So we can do 2 times 7 dx dt plus 2 times 24, and instead of putting dy dt, we know what dy dt is. The height is changing with time at negative 1 feet per second, right, is equal to 0. And then we just keep solving, and this goes to 14 dx dt plus 48, negative 48, right, so minus 40, wow, minus 48 is equal to zero. And if you look for a second, this is actually victory is ours, isn't it? Because here, this is the thing we wanted right here, isn't it? And we're there. We just have this one variable. 
and it's this rate right here. So I'm just going to do some algebra, 14 dx dt is equal to 48. I'm sure you can see the algebra there. I'm going to divide both sides by 14 and get dx dt is equal to 24 over 7, isn't it? Dun, dun, dun. So that's our rate, isn't it? So hopefully that's, that worked out good for you. And it's feet per second, important on the AP exam. So there's the calculus of that. I hope it was really helpful for you. Um, I'm telling you, without regard to whose videos you're watching, the more related rates problems that you do, the easier it becomes. You start to get the rhythm of this thing. And let me assure you all that there's no way that you're going to take the AP uh, calculus AB exam without seeing this. So let's, let's not pretend, and let's just keep working. Proud of you guys. Keep up the good work. And I'm back. <laughs>